Hello, fellow paranormal enthusiasts. Welcome to the top five haunts in Mexico City. Number five, Instituto Cultural La Mora. This art museum is haunted by a man named Marcos who committed suicide ten years after he saw a hanging spirit in the same room where he committed suicide. Also, shadow figures are seen, demonic possessions have occurred in the building, disembodied sounds are heard, and ghost orbs are seen. Number four is Plaza de las Tres Culturas, or Square of the Three Cultures. There are remains of Aztec temples on this site. Several massacres have occurred on this site, with the most recent being in 1968 when protesting students were killed. And the nearby collapse of the Nuevo León building during the 1985 Mexico City earthquake. Due to these events, there are many reports of paranormal activity. Sounds of children are heard. The sounds of the student massacre of 1968 have been reported, and shadowy figures have been seen. Number three is Palacio de Lucumberi. This former prison was constructed in the year 1900, and today it houses the General National Archive. It also houses several resident spirits. A couple of them are considered very active. A spirit named Don Jacinto is seen wandering while muttering to himself. And the other very active one is a hostile spirit in a charro uniform, which is a horse rider uniform. And there are, are reports of many other spirits being in this building. Number two is Isla de las Munecas, or the Island of the Dolls. Story goes that the island belonged to a man by the name of Julian Santana Barrera. He discovered the body of a girl floating in the river with a doll nearby. He hung the doll as a sign of respect for the deceased girl. However, soon after, he started hearing disembodied screams and footsteps, and he was miles from civilization. So he started hanging dolls all around the island, and when he passed away, his body was found in the exact same spot as the young girl's. Today, the island is still inhabited by the dolls, and people claim they hear the dolls whispering to them. Number 1. The Mexico City Metro I actually have a separate video on the Mexico City Metro, so I'll give you the abridged version here. Opened in 1969, several of the stations are haunted, from full-bodied apparitions to loud unexplained knocking and even a ghost train. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If I did butcher any of the words in here, I'm very sorry about that. I tried to get them as... Um, I tried to do them as well as I could. Also, if there were any places in Mexico City or even Mexico um, that you want me to do videos on or you think should have been on this list, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you want to see more of my content, subscribe for more paranormal activity. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.